this video I'm going to work out an individual integral. We're going to take a look at the integral of natural log of x over x squared dx. Now this one um, turns out to be an integration by parts, but I am going to do it uh, with the integration by parts shortcut just to uh, make it a little bit quicker here. If you're not seeing that it is an integration by parts, um, you could rewrite this as natural log of x times 1 over x squared dx, and that's showing you that product there where we can use that integration by parts. All right, so let's put integration by parts here, and then um, definitely shortcut. If you need um, an explanation of the shortcut or detailed instructions on that, you can check out some of my other videos because I've got a video that goes through every possible scenario that you could encounter with your integration by parts using that shortcut method. All right, so uh, basically that shortcut method involves uh, coming up with a derivative column and an integral column. You've got to pick one of these to be the derivative, one of them to be the integral. Now, obviously, um, we cannot integrate the natural log of x without integration by parts, so we do not want to select that in our integral uh, part. So we're going to put the natural log of x in our derivative column. That would leave the 1 over x squared there in the integral column. All right, now, um, so at this point, you're going to start taking the derivative, you're going to start taking the integral. If I look at this uh, 1 over x squared as an x to the negative 2, that's going to let us integrate that um, really easily there. So we'll have a negative 1 x to the negative 1, and then rewriting that so that we've got a negative 1 over x would be nice. All right, now taking the derivative here, derivative of natural log of x is going to be 1 over x. All right, now the key here is knowing when to stop and when to keep going. Ideally, we want um, that derivative column to go to zero. In this case, it's not going to. We can see what's going to happen. If I keep taking the derivative and I keep taking the derivative, I'm going to um, just keep getting um, smaller and smaller and smaller there. So it's not going to do us any good. All right, so at this point, then I probably am going to stop, especially um, when I take a look at what I've got here. So. On the shortcut, we need a plus and then a minus, and then a plus and then a minus. You would alternate those signs going down that way. Uh, you would multiply on the angle, and because I have something left over here, I would integrate going back the other direction. All right, if I take a look at negative 1 over x times negative 1 over x, that's going to be a positive um, 1 over um, x squared, well, we've already integrated that. We know we can integrate that, so then I can call this quits, and I have actually integrated this. Okay, so taking this expression right here, now I am um, have integrated, so I'm going to multiply on the angle. A positive times a negative is going to give me a negative, so I'll have a negative natural log of x over x when I multiply those two things. All right, and then a negative times a negative here is um, going to be a positive, so then I will have plus the integral of what I get when I multiply those two things. So 1 over x squared dx. All right, now this one has already been integrated, so I'm just going to write that down again. Negative natural log of x over x. All right, now this part right here, well, I integrated it right here. So there's no reason to integrate that again. I know the answer is going to be a negative 1 over x. So negative 1 over x and then plus c. All right. If you wanted to rewrite that with a minus in there, you could, but you wouldn't necessarily have to. So negative natural log of x over x minus 1 over x plus c for a final answer. Uh, so definitely on this one, using that integration by part shortcut makes it a whole lot easier. And like I said, if you need more examples or more explanation on how that shortcut works, be sure and check out uh, the other videos that I've got on my channel. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, uh, don't forget to uh, share with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.